Anyway, so hoping for the best for, for, for those companies. You know, going into space, we mentioned earlier that the companies, whether it's uh, SpaceX or in this case Blue Origin, are trying to convince us that the next destination that we should go is not in other countries, not in beaches or theme parks or whatnot, it's in outer space or close to outer space at that. Anyway, but what's interesting here is according to businessinsider.com, they mentioned uh, the article says that uh, there is a very solid engineering reason why Jeff Bezos' rocket looks exactly like, you know, that. Let me show you to better explain. Ah, yeah, this one. Okay, so if you notice, it looks peculiarly similar to a particular genitalia of sorts. So wh why is that so? And when I read this article, I was thinking to myself, is this true? Does it look like actually mm, somewhat? And obviously... You want to be careful on how people perceive your product, or in this case, your spaceship here. So it flew the founder, I think, uh, a few days ago or a week or two ago to, 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 to its success, right? So congratulations to them. But in terms of its uh, New Shepard rockets, uh, what do they call this? Humacent shape was low-hanging fruit to social media users who were quick to point out, which... You can see it somewhat that it crafts a phallic design of sorts so obviously you know if you're trying to market this product you know it's going to be plastered all over the magazine news sites and so forth so uh, i don't know if they could make some improvement to this one or change the the aesthetics or how the shape is you know presented here anyway <laughs> So, expert is saying that this suborbital or sausage fest was anything but accidental. Obviously, if you're an engineer, there's a reason why they made the, the ship here uh, des designed the way it is. So, it's not by accident here. So, if you were to take a closer look, the characteristic shape was designed to, to optimize the cabin. So, it can uh, accommodate six passengers in all aspects. So, it's a rounded shape. And then it can maximize the rocket stability. So obviously any angular shape at the top would make it, you know, more, what do you call this? Would create more drag. So more, spending more fuel, which is not ideal. And obviously the reason here is to maximize rocket stability when coming back to Earth. So when it's trying to land. So obviously you need a very stable design, which is what they did here. Now what's interesting here, according to Lianos, uh, uh, who told Insider, the main reason the design looks like this is because Jeff uh, Bezos' first goal is to send people to space. So everything revolves around having four to six people in the cabin, so maximizing cabin volume here. Now, was it unintentional that the design looks like the way it is? Then uh, Mr. Bezos noticed this when they were test testing this in, in their facility. I'm sure you know they he saw it. A lot of people saw it, but did they have time to change it? You know who, who knows. But the question here is, uh, Jeff also wanted to have the biggest window in space so people have an awesome experience. So meaning their goal was very simple to get a uh, effective rocket ship that can get people into space safely and bring them down safely as well. Now obviously the design may have something less um, more improvement needs to be improved upon it and, and um, maybe they can do that in their next iteration here and obviously increasing the size of the capsule uh was important here so that they can maximize the the space that you know that you're given here now even though it resembles a particular male, male genitalia here but it is what it is now whether people can make fun of it or so at least it's a, it's a selling point that, you know, people will, you know, it will get people's attention here. Anyway, uh, the point here is the capsule's design also is meant for uh, reducing drag. So just like in, in a sports car on the ground, you want less drag so that it can peer through, a, uh, through the air. Because obviously the, the high you want to go, there's more drag that's going to pull you down on earth. And, you know, it's not going to be easy, but they were able to achieve it. So, congrats, congratulations to them. And, obviously, the skinnier design helps the rocket reach its sub-orbit. So, it's not technically in outer space, but it's somewhere 
on the fringes of our outer space. Outer space? I don't know what's the term. But it's on the fringes of our atmosphere, so to speak. Right? So, obviously, the, the, the higher the space that you want to reach, uh, it requires more propellant in your rocket so you can reach higher threshold here and obviously they find the they were able to find a solution in terms of design hopefully they can make some more improvements in their next iteration here and obviously their next rocket it's going to be named the new glenn uh which is more looking more like a bullet rather than you know a male genitalia here so I'm sure they've already taken that into account so that at least they have a successful test flight and they can move forward from here. And the goal of the new rocket is to uh, design to go into orbit and back into planet Earth here. So good luck to them. So is it worth it to go out through space? I think how much did they spend? Millions of dollars? Uh, I could have just bought a new car, a new house, or maybe go to a different country. But, you know, if you have excess money here, go right ahead, right? You'd be, you know, you can just imagine like uh, the movie of Stanley Kubrick's where he was showcasing, you know, 30, 50, 40, 50 years ago, the space station revolving around Earth. People could just visit there. And then if they want to go to the moon, maybe go to Mars or different planetary systems, you know, it's easier then. But can we do that in our lifetime? Maybe not. But, you know... You know, kudos to Elon Musk for thinking uh, ahead as well as for Jeff Bezos, you know, trying to colonize space, hopefully. Uh, anyway, 